Honorable Commissioner Socorro MP, Honorable Commissioner Amy Ferdino, Honorable Commissioner Ray Gulay, Sir Robert Socorro. Kasama rin po si Executive Director of the Bartolo Mesinopos Jr., our Deputy Executive Our Deputy Secretary of the Corporation is Attorney Mr. Elmas Jr., sir. Actually, this is the first time na halos sa main time and back or the majority of the end of whatever will happen, there will always be a vote here in Romok. The majority of the members of the end back are present in today's gathering, in today's service. Pag ako yung mati kanina sa morning, please. Ang dami na pong bumila. Siyempre, dahil nga po sa may pasok din yung ibang nasa pribadong sektor, uh, ang iba maagang pumunta upang makabot at isip tayo makapasok din sa manila ng mga opisina. And we are hoping na bago po matapos mamaya ang pagsasara ng ating pong uh, halalan ay mas matami pa tayong mga kababayan from the city of, uh, of beautiful people with beautiful guests and uh, visitors. <laughs>
ito uh, pinaka uh, unique itong kibisito natin na ngayon na ginagawa guys karamihan uh, either creation ng barangay sulitin ng barangay ito naman is pag-isahin natin ng barangay so 28 barangays ang um, out of the 28 barangays iisahin natin 13 barangays will be consolidated into one and uh, just in case kung manalo ito gagawin barangay south and for barangay east ito naman ang uh, barangays ang pag-isahin para mag-constitute into one barangay na pangalan ng barangay east and for barangay west ito rin barangays ang ito consolidate natin of course, mayroon isang barangay for renaming, yung barangay 29, renaming siya. Okay, anong impact dito? Anong impact dito sa, ano, sa sudat ng Urmo? From 110 barangays, mariridus ang number of barangays natin sa Urmo into 85 barangays. So, with that, ang nationwide na impact dito from 42,047 barangays, mag-dividend tayo, magpa-minus tayo ng 25, making it 42,022 barangays nationwide. And this will be considered uh, for purposes of conducting the barangay and SK elections as it is possible next year. Tanda na ito, kiniwari-wari para hindi maintindihan ang pinag-inan. And so far as we are concerned now, based on uh, the assessment we made to all the voting center. The, the voting is uh, uh, being done uh, in accordance with the rules. It is peaceful and we are expecting that uh, we will be finished on time. As a Congress Chairman, Chairman Garcia, and a number of commissioners, another member of the Public Mining Club, and welcome to Tormok City. I'm uh, very happy na natuloy na ito na Previsito natin. A lot of uh, a lot of mayors have tried this in the past. No? Magkaroon ng previsito to merge ang barangay. And uh, sa dinami-dami lang na pagsubok sa mga bang panahon, napakalakas ng resistance no? ng mga tao. It took us a while para makonvince namin yung mga local officials. Kasi kailangan namin ng na, na, na resolution of the resistance from, starts from, from uh, the NGUs. No? And we really have to present to them. Ano ba yung pros and cons members or para maintindihan nila? Siguro kung kami naging uh, successful, nangyayimimihan nila kung bakit kinakailangan natin mag purge ng uh, barangay to four major barangays. And, Naipindihan din ang mga tao yung importance na pag-merge ng mga bagay na ito. At the end of the day, ang importante is that the LGUs, the barangays, will be able to deliver basic services at the time. Because as it is right now, hindi namin ako kompleto yung mga basic services na kinakailangan nila. Dahil pulang sila sa tao, wala silang health center, wala silang paper facility. So, there are so many requirements in the local government uh, and in the local government unit together with the DALG that we did not accomplish because of these small barangays. So we were hoping that today, when we will visit we will come out na successful that the four super barangays, we call these super barangays, will be able to visit our yes. No? We will be able to visit the LGU. We began the uh, about it in 2020. Don't give me a symbol. And then, uh, yung mga kongsihan natin, lahat sila, meron sila ng kanya-kanyang trabaho for every barangay. May monitoring system, may information system, no? may shepherding system, so may kita nyo, ngayon pa lang, maaga pa lang, marami nang dinadala na mga tao sa barangay. Yung security in place lahat yan. So, we're really very hopeful and positive that today's plebis will be successful. Then for being successful you know, this will be the first uh, kind of plebis na may mangyayari sa buong Pilipinas. Kaya karamihan ng mga plebis ito sa atin is either magdagdag ng distrito, magdagdag ng city, pero ngayon pa lang ang pagkakataon na i-merge natin yung napakaraming barangay 
into a super primary. So let's hope and pray that uh, today's plebiscite will be very successful. No? Dahil ito talaga para sa kaayuhan ni Santana ng mga Lupio dito sa Ormok City. And we are very privileged to have the, the whole Covenant, uh, Covenant family here in Ormok City to, uh, to administer this uh, plebiscite to, uh, to witness no? uh, something historical that is about to happen. So thank you so much sa lahat ng uh, kasama natin dito ko. The Philippine Army, the Philippine National Police, no? the observers are here as well. And uh, the LGU, and of course, all of Maraming maraming salamat po sila. And the press people, thank you for delivering this news. The whole day, bigyan niyo po ng magandang news and information ng mga tao kung ano nangyayari dito. And hopefully, in other cities na merong maliit na barangay, that they will also uh, be able to replicate this Pero sana maging successful muna, let us pray that it will be good. No? Pag nangyari na ito, sana gagawin din ang ibang mga nasyonal. Thank you and good morning. <laughs> Sa official dump po ng lungsod ng Bumok, Sa pangunguna ni Mayora Lucy Torres Gomez. Sa kanyang uh, equally as to and qualify uh, Congressman Richard Gomez. Incidentally, sa ating Chairman George ay siya rin ang sponsor sa Congress ng revisions. Very timely revisions sa Omnibus Election Code. Para para po natin. Nandito kami para patunayan that the results are here. Thank you, Nafred for lending more credits to the results of this election, the leadership of the PNP. Salamat po sa pagpapatuloy kasi hindi lang po tinawag mo kung sa aking manalo po ang official down ng mo sa yes, super yes. Uh, hindi lang po tinawag mo ang ginagang din sila din dito sa aking aking congressman group ng Pilipinas kung talagang makakabuti sa kanila yung merchia. E wala naman po hindi na nakakalam yan at wala pong binigyan ng ibang karapatan ang ating saligang batas kung hindi ang mamamayan. Box Populi, Box Day. May muna sa tanan. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank um, Mayor Lucy Gomez and the Congress for the warm reception they have given us. I am here today to give my full support to our hardworking and well-loved chairman. And likewise to give my support to the other panels because uh, this plebiscite is uh, significant and unique in that this is the first time I will be a there is a proposal or a question on emerging of several types. Actually, yung mga proseso na pag napakabilis sa LGU, sa MGU, sa Pandamuli kasi, sa City Government na Hatshen, nasa ng pinasa ng mga naman na Hatshen. But definitely, everything will happen after the work ako, ang ating assessment, after the barangay and SK elections. In the meantime, proceed mo na yung lahat ng mga local officials, yung mga barangays na na uh, status ko sa present, yung mag-deliver ng basic services. Uh, at siyempre, pagkahandaan nila yun, sabi nga ni Congressman uh, Richard Kalina, pagkahandaan nila yun, ito mo na dapat may health center na sa susunod. Uh, di ba? O dapat meron tayong pregio na maganda para sa isang super barangay kung sakaling hindi yes, sa magiging boto. Uh, we're hoping na uh, maging successful yung merger natin and uh, mangyayari maging apat na barangay. So, as representative, uh, we will have to find a bill in Congress to uh, put in appropriation para sa bagong apat na barangay. Kasi yung 1 to 20 na yung mga abolish na yun. So dapat yung may bagong appropriation uh, for the new, uh, new barangay. Kaya hindi pwede kami ni appropriation ng different barangays into the new ones. It will have to be enacted in Congress. Uh, the, the reason why we uh, want to do merge barangay is number one, to be able for the LGU, among mga barangay, 
to uh, give the basic services sa mga tao, yung mga kinakailangan nilang mga servisyo sa situation ngayon, dahil malito yung bagay, hindi nila nabibigay lahat. But for example, uh, wala tayong playground para sa mga bata, kinakailangan lahat ng NGU meron. No? Kailangan natin ng mga health centers. Hindi lahat meron. Kailangan nila ng uh, barangay hall. Hindi lahat ng barangay natin dito, may barangay hall. Uh, may mga barangay dito sa District 129 na sa garahe lang. Tumagawa lang ng isang kahon kasi yun na yung barangay hall nila. So we want to, to bring decent basic services to the people. No? Nasa ganun, uh, itong Ormok City ay makapasa rin no, sa seal of good local governance sa kinakailangan ng lahat ng barangay ay nakapag-deliver ng basic services sa tao. Yung IRS for the city, will this not be affected with the merging of this barangay in the trade? Well, ang nangyayari sa IRA nila, makakompress into four. So yung every, for example, kung tingin ko yung pinsi na barangay, yung, 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 yung uh, national tax allocation nila, will be merged into one barangay. Kaya mas malaki. So pag mas malaki yung pondo nila, they'll be able to, let's say, build their own overcourt, they'll be able to, to uh, buy their own uh, land para pagtatayo ng isang barangay nila kung wala pa silang barangay ko. O marami silang mga gamit sa, sa compounded nila sa pinasama-sama ng pondo ng uh, nangyemerge na barangay. Director Elnas, siya huwag na kipag-coordinate sa akin. Hindi ko si Director Elnas eh. So, so it, it's, it's not it's not much it's not much it's not expensive for something very very important for the city. That includes the payment for the for all yes. Congressman make sure. ng mga village chairman um decision na ito at anong amount of convincing na ginawa natin para matuloy ang bilisito ngayon? We did a step-by-step -step process together with the whole Sagunian uh, and other officials of uh, the city. Uh, hindi namin sila pinig lang. May konting information pa konti konti and then we went through a series of surveys and then we went through a series of uh, consultations para makita namin kung sino yung resistant and then uh, we came up with a program to present to them, bakit kinakailangan ng uh, merging. Tapos kailangan mo itindihan ng opisales uh, yung importance nito. At pagkatapos na di, sasabihin sila ng resolution of the resistance. No? So, mahabang proseso yun, it took us months, years bago namin na nakakompos ito. After the hard work of, uh, of our council, vice mayor, no? uh, I realized the importance of merging. Give us an update on the events. Good afternoon, everyone. As of 3 o'clock this afternoon, we have closed the voting for the previous year. We will not have a meeting of this nature. And as of this moment, the three of the barangay for this year, the three of the summit, the three of the Pacific Center, the three of the Sol, we are expecting that, that before uh, 6 o'clock, we will have all the bill from our bill. All preparations, plans, uh, paid off. Because uh, the part of the will be national is in other uh, the security sectors. We executed well our plans accordingly. And uh, have to know that no one power incident happened during the entire proceedings and uh, until now uh, we will remain uh, on guard until the end of uh, this period. The findings that we had during that period was that uh, the plebiscite was not declared as a holiday in the city. So we thought that would have an impact on the turnout as some voters who live in the affected districts may be working in some other uh, areas of the city or maybe outside the city. Natutuwa po ang Commission of Elections dahil sa mga Commission reports natin na maalo sa pagdiwasay naman ng ating plebisito. Pwede na po na po na rin? This is a 
This is a historic event, not something that um, former mayor now Congress Manager started way back in 2020. Initially, and maybe it's historic for that, but initially, um, the other thing is going to be done because it's easier to break down a place than to, than to consolidate. But um, he knew, he knew, um, he knew that it would be just if the barangays would be would be merged, no? so we sold the seats. And today, I I don't want to preempt anything. I still have a uh, official results, no? but I hope that we will we will reap the fruits of the of what the team has worked so hard on over the past over the past month. So uh, I'm very thankful that it's been a peaceful it's been a, a peaceful, very peaceful and orderly process and, and we wait for the voice of the people who wait for the official response. But I'm, I'm hopeful that, that uh, the merger will indeed happen. <laughs> Thank you, President. Uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to uh, congratulate each and everyone that uh, has uh, uh, given their efforts uh, to uh, first uh, mount this plebiscite. Uh, uh, all our officials, barangay uh, leaders, barangay people, uh, the community, the PFP, thank you so much. No? It has been the uh, peaceful uh, elections. No? And we are not going to be in that. Uh, although we did not have the, the final and official results yet, but uh, it is very encouraging to, uh, to what we have witnessed uh, today. And uh, I'm hoping that the, the final uh, final uh, result will be a complete merging of all the 29 district barangays into four super barangays. And uh, if uh, I'm very sure that this will happen, and we also encourage uh, other NGOs who have similar situations that uh, we can help each other, we can help other uh, NGOs uh, the same doing the same process. Uh, the bottom line of this all is that uh, in, uh, in government service, we really want to bring service to the people. Kailangan talaga, lahat ng ginagawa ng isa, ng mga beneficial dito, palagi, ayaw ka. So, thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Pastor. Thank you, Sir
October 8, 2020. In witness whereof, we have signed this presence at the city of Armon, province of Lutheran, this state of being of October 2020. The Barangay Tetsi for the Panthers, Attorney Maria Krishna Atena G. Largo as chairperson, Attorney Edward Bryson Lobal as vice chairperson, and Ms. Artemia G. Lilbera as member secretary. by the Barangay Clinicent Board of Canvassers for the Clinicent to ratify the merger of Barangay Districts num uh, to District Numbers 14, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, and 26 all in Ormoc City into one Barangay to be known as Barangay West pursuant to Ormoc City Samuri Ang Pangunsod Ordinance Number 052 Series of 2021, approved on January 22, 2021. We undersigned members of the Barangay Clinicent Board of Canvassers for the Clinicent to ratify the merger of Barangay District Numbers 14, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, and 26, all in Ormoc City, into one Barangay to be known as Barangay West, pursuant to our Pursuant to Ormoc City, Sampan and Pangalong Soil, Ordinance Number 052, Series of 2021, approved on January 22, 2021, do hereby... Do hereby certify under code that we have duly canvassed eight out of eight clinic secretaries prepared by the Clinicent Committees of Ormoc City, Province of Leyde, in connection with the Clinicent held on October 8, 2022, with the following results. The total number of registered voters for the respective barangays to be merged are is 2,453, with the total number of vo voters who actually voted at 1,498, and the result with the yes vote is 1,395 and the no of 19. On the basis, on the basis of the foregoing, we hereby proclaim that the merger of Barangay District Numbers 9, 14, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, and 26, all in Armoc City, into one Barangay to be known Barangay West, pursuant to Armoc City. city uh, Sandal and Pamalong Sod, Ordinance Number 052, Series of 2021, approved on January 15, 2021, was ratified and approved by the majority of votes cast in Clinicent Health in Ormoc City, Province of Leyte, on October 8, 2022. In witness whereof, we have signed this presence of the City of Ormoc, Province of Leyte, this 8th day of October 2022. The composition of the Barangay Clinicity Board of Canvassers are as follows. Attorney Phoebe Catherine B. Hiray Arrest, the chairperson. Attorney Melchor B. Don Wallace, the vice chairperson. And Dr. Alejandro Alnandez, as member of the Cyberdice. Yay! Board of Canvassers. For the Clinicity to ratify the merger. Barangay District Numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 13, 15, 17, 23, and 27. All in our city into one barangay to be known as Barangay South. For Suwan to our city, Sambuya Pagdosan Ordinance Number 52, Series of 2021, approved on January 22, 2021. We, the other sign members of the Barangay Plebiscite Board of Canvassers, for the Plebiscite to ratify the merger of Barangay District Numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 13, 15, 10, 17, 23, and 27, all in all of city, into one barangay to be known as Barangay South, Pursuant to Ormoc City Sangguling Pangluso Ordinance Number 52, approved on January 22, 2021. 
to hereby certify under law that we have duly canvassed 14 out of 14 plebiscite returns prepared by the plebiscite committees of Olmoc City, Province of Leyte, in connection with the plebiscite held on October 8, 2022, with the following results. Total number of registered voters is 2,803. Total number of voters who actually voted 1,817. Total yes or oh votes obtained 1,519. Total no or hindi. 218. On the basis of the foregoing, we hereby proclaim that the merger of Barangay District numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 13, 15, 17, 23, and 27, all in Armok City, into one barangay to be known as Barangay Sound. Yes. Yeah. The number of was ratified and approved by the majority of the votes cast in the plebiscite held in Olmoc City, Province of Leyte, on October 8, 20. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Mayor Lucy and uh, the proponent of uh, uh, this merger no? of barangays. Signed, the Barangay Plebiscit Board of Canvassers. Thank you. Hey. To vote and proclamation for the Barangay Plebiscit Board of Canvassers for the Plebiscit to ratify the merger of Barangay District Numbers 9, 10, 11, 16, 18, 25, and 28, all in form of city into one barangay to be known as Barangay East, pursuant to form of city, Sangunian Panglungsol Ordinance Number 052, Series of 2021, approved on January 22, 2021. We, the undersigned members of the Barangay Plebiscit Board of Canvassers, for the plebiscit to ratify the merger of Barangay District Numbers 9, 10, 11, 16, 18, 25, and 28, all in form of city into one barangay to be known as Barangay East, pursuant to form of city, San Kunian Panglungsol, Ordinance number 052, series of 2021, approved by the uh, approved on January 22, 2021. Do hereby certify under oath that we have duly canvassed nine out of nine plebiscite returns prepared by the plebiscite committees of Ormoc City, province of Leyte, in connection with the plebiscite held on October 8, 2022 with the following results. Total number of registered voters, 2,665. Total number of voters who actually voted, 1,781. So for the yes votes for OO, 1,546. No, in date, 200. 27. We hereby proclaim that the merger of Barangay District Numbers 9, 10, 11, 16, 18, 25, and 28 all in Ormoc City into one barangay to be known as Barangay East for Suwan to Ormoc City, Sangunian Pangungsol, Ordinance Number 052, Series of 2021, approved on January 22, 2021, 
was ratified and approved by the majority of the votes cast in the plebiscite held in Ormoc City, province of Leyte, on October 8, 2022. In witness whereof, we have signed this presence at the city of Ormoc, province of Leyte, this 8th day of October 2022. Attorney Don Joshua Margati, Chairperson, Barangay Plebiscite Board of Canvassers. Prosecutor Erwin Pedrosa, Vice Chairperson, Dr. Mario Ronchi Arson Milon, Member Secretary. Congratulations! Yay! And that's all. Thank you. Good night and have a good evening. Yay!